Hey guys, it's Miss Evelyn from the Sop Below Boys and Girls Club, and today we'll be making a wind time for our art activity. The materials that you will need are paintbrushes, a straw or skewer, scissors, paint, you can use food coloring and markers, glue, that's optional, a branch, cutting tools, I'm using painting knives and spatulas, a plate for paint and an empty cup, string, you can use floss, a baking pan, and some clay. For the first part, you would need half a cup of baking soda, fourth cup of cornstarch, six tablespoons of water in a pan, and a heat-proof spatula. Take the pan, put it on the stove top, and set it on medium to high heat. Now add the baking soda to the pan and the cornstarch and then add the water. Now you just need to stir it until the mixture forms into a mashed potato consistency. Once it has formed into a mashed potato consistency, take it off the stovetop, set it aside, let it cool for 10 minutes, and then knead it for 10 minutes. Make sure to wrap it in plastic. Now for the wind chime pieces, you need to grab a little bit of the clay that you made and then the other part, set it aside and wrap it back in the plastic so it doesn't dry out. You're going to take little by little, you're going to squeeze it down. I used a coaster to mush it down and then with my cutting tools, I used it to carve out different shapes. You can do whatever shapes. I chose a spring theme, so I went with leaves and butterflies and other spring related things for the rest of the clay. So basically what I am doing here is I am smoothing out the edges, making sure there's no sharp edges at all. And then I'm also making texture into my leaves using my art spatulas. You can use your fork, a spoon, a butter knife, really anything that has some form of texture or bumps or grooves to it. You can use it to put different textures into your clay pieces. Here I had previously made some, as you can see they have different textures. I made some beads using a piece of clay and then poking the skewer through. And then I also made these like noodle looking ones and I just took some clay, I rolled it out, cut it into little strips, rolled them onto the skewer and then once I rolled them onto the skewer I took them off and I used the skewer, one of the ends, to poke the holes through.
When you bake the clay, you actually don't have to bake it. You can let it sit overnight and it will completely air dry and be just as good as if you baked it. For the stick, you don't have to paint it. I decided to paint it with this metallic gold just because of the look I was going for. Now that your pieces are ready, you guys can go ahead and paint them whatever color you want. Now I am using Mod Podge to seal the paint onto my pieces since I will be putting it outside. I don't want the colors to fade or wash away with rain. This is completely optional for you guys. You don't have to do this. Acrylic paint does well outside even without a sealant. Now that all the pieces are dry, go ahead and grab a piece of string and, or your floss, whatever it is that you're using, and go ahead and tie each piece onto it. Don't forget to put a piece of string on your branch, that way you can hang it.
And there you go. That's how it looks once it's all put together. Let us know how yours turned out. Take pictures and send them to us.